All right. Uh, welcome, everyone. And it's been a while that I have uh, not posted a new video with regards to Delphi tutorial. Today, I will just cover a very basic introduction on the Delphi IDE and the basic controls as well. So this is just a short video, and I hope you'll enjoy this one. Although there's a lot of background noise when going, so please forgive me for that one. All right. For today, I'm going to illustrate to you uh, how to manage your project at the same time understand uh, the code structure of uh, the Delphi project. So as you can see here, I have a new unit. I have created a new project through new uh, file, new Windows VCL application. So if you're going to press F12, so if you press F12 again, it goes back to your form and then press F12 it goes to your code so by pressing F12 you are switching your uh, between code and the design so code and then the form is the design view so you have here the unit so what I'll do is I will save this one first file let me just create here a test project and then I'll create this one as on my main form so I have the project here, uh, although I did not it just create project 1, I can create or save as the project as uh, test project, test project 1. So it updates the project name and of course the unit name is also updated. So don't forget every time you have a new form, don't forget to rename it so that you will not forget or get confused with the names of your form. So I'm going to rename this FRM main. Okay, so we now have an FRM main. So again, uh, if you want to add buttons, you go to the standard object uh, or your palette. And then you can have buttons, checkboxes, radio buttons combo box so we'll go over this this panel I'll explain this one also then you have also an edit box then we have a, a label I believe I have discussed the labels before then what other important features or functions so far these are the more uh, needed uh, objects that we need in the process so don't worry if you get uh, if you want to take advantage of the others I can I can teach you that one as well but in terms of our project this would actually help us of course we still have the grid which we can find in the data data controls rather so we have the TDB grid uh, we also need that one for the displaying of data so as you can see it's very important to have or under, have a better understanding of these uh, objects and they should help us uh, be able to build uh, the application itself okay so let's see so I have here a button so when you have a button you can always rename the caption so let's say for example uh, add then you can rename also the name of that button so that you will have a better guide button add you have a checkbox you can also use and rename the checkbox normally chk so let's say for example checkbox uh, what else uh, checkbox uh, depends on what field at your uh, or let's say for example uh, vaccinated just give us an example you can rename that one there the caption so these are the primary properties that you can rename right away so you have the caption you can look that for every object so button has a caption uh, checkbox has a caption label has a caption radio button has a caption combo box uh, it does not have a caption uh, let me just go to radio button here uh, what do you have, you have here uh, let's probably uh, option one you can do a selection for that one so uh, rbtn option one uh, cmb 
for combo box and let's just say gender so for combo box you can change the name cmd as the prefix and then the contents inside uh, would be you go under items here uh, and these are these strings values so you can replace their uh, let's just say male female and then there are several styles that you can adapt or apply so you have here options you just use drop down drop down list so the best option would be the drop down list and then just take note of the selection option here because if you set the index the item index here if it if the value is negative one that means there is no selection made now if there's a value of a zero you can see there that the male is selected so the index in Delphi normally starts at zero okay then if you press one you can see the female is being selected as well so we'll set it to zero so there's a fixed selection already you can do that one the edit there's no caption for this one but the text property is the one you can modify and then of course do not forget the name rename it uh, edit first name then the panels the panels is just uh, let me just go with label first before panel label is just intended for us to label things so renaming this is uh, I do seldom rename labels unless it is holding a value so let's say for example total amount then if it's holding a value then I have to rename it let's say LDL uh, total amount so that it would be much easier for me to uh, do so let's say for example if I'm going to add a value if I click on add uh, the amount here let's just say for example the amount here is actually or whatever amount I entered here would be added or would be uh, would update to total amount we'll try that one okay uh, let's see so it would be much easier for me so LBL uh, total amount that caption uh, total amount that caption is equal to total amount yeah, you have to include a total amount otherwise if you don't then it will be replaced with something else so total amount plus edt first name the name of the text so whatever value in the first name that would be the values that will be added so it's very handy so all i have to do here is just run the project and for me to be able to test it so let's say for example we have 100 add and then you see the amount so it updates it there just like that very easy right okay so those are the things so it's an on click event under the uh, button add uh, events then panels panels are simply to organize your menu or your form interface to make it look better so for example I can remove here uh, in this case let me let me open let me add another button here um, let's say uh, view uh, second form just to give me oops just to give me a little bit of an illustration so I'll go to file new VCL form no need to click on Windows VCL app we are only adding a form here so let's say we name this right away so that we will not forget uh, FRM second form that's better so panel demo I'm using that one so when I click on this one take note here when you click this one and you want to view the other unit oh every time you add a form also save it right away so that you will not forget so of course you cannot start a file name with a number so use uh, what do you call this you can use the file name with the word second form okay so let me just add here before we run things let me add additional panel I do I'll add three panels because I want to illustrate this one the order of the panels need not to be uh, so 
when you do panel uh, the alignment we have uh, pretty good uh, alignment options for panels so let's say for example if you have some kind of a header at the top you can choose this one here and that panel moves up then you have to select first the top and the bottom options before you do the one in the middle so I set the panel here the panel to uh, top panel 3 uh, bottom and then panel 1 that would be occupying the entire space that's what you call AL client then I have to clear all the captions uh, the captions of all so that it won't be a distraction so in this case it would be very much easy for me so for example we are going to do uh, sometimes it doesn't uh, I hate this one sometimes it doesn't allow me to select just one uh, db grid let's say the db grid would be in the middle and it occupies the entire uh, form I mean the entire panel and then let's see probably at the top it would be uh, let's say uh, customer records and then at the bottom you have several buttons which makes it easier for you so it's really handy okay so let's say for example add customer okay very handy so your buttons might want to be uniform in width as well uh, update customer and then you have also a delete delete customer so you might want to increase the width so let's say for example let's make it 100 all right very handy so you I just selected all of them using the shift okay I can increase and move it to the, the to the right. I add another button for for closing. Uh, close, and then I'll make it also a hundred to make it uniform. So in order to align all of these, you don't have to do it manually. You can just select all together by pressing Shift, and then go to align. I mean position, then align then you are going to align the tops that means they will be in the same line all together so very easy for you so let's say for example we're moving okay so to close the form all you have to do is type the word close that's it and then let me go back to the main form so that when i click this one we are going to view frm second form that show model so there are two options here show model and frm second form that show okay let me illustrate first that show okay just one second so every time you connect a new form uh, into uh, into your or if you time every time you are linking a form it will ask if it has been declared so somewhat like uh, you are trying to link the form before you can able before you're able to use them so this is if you see this one just click yes and if you run again that error will go away and you can now run the project and you can see you should be able to illustrate so when i click on second form take note i'm using here show so look at the difference when i click on view second form the second form is displaying this is our second form but when i click on the main menu this menu here i can still uh, I'm, i can still click them okay so i can i am able to click them and if i press uh, an amount here i can do that one i can do click the main menu still so the focus of using only the show is that you can click other forms at the same time okay so let's try show model that's show this one is show model so this one i should be able to more or less the same it will show the form however the focus of the second form would only be in the second form and not something else 
so if i click on the other if i click on the main menu it does not allow me so your focus or your clickable option would only be this active window all right so that's how you can actually practice on these things so i'll make this short and let's look let's move to another tutorial so that you will not be confused all right so please don't forget to subscribe and share thank you and have a good one